Hey guys, welcome back to more AFK Arena. In today's video, we're over on the test server. Now, I've been getting a lot of messages asking me if I forgot about Thali and all that sort of stuff. No, I've been on holidays for five days. We are back. We are finally getting into Thali. Now, she will be dropping on global servers in about a day or so after recording this, maybe a day and a half after recording this. Uh, so she's coming soon because like I said, I've, I'm, bit, I'm about five days late on this one. She's been on the test server for, for a while, but we're going to check out her skills and have a bit of a chat about her i haven't done the test i'll do a test with her in another video um but yeah i i just i feel like it's like a mage sort of savvy's type thing going on so let's get into it Okay, so first off, design. Once again, Lilith gets an A plus on their character designs. I think she looks absolutely wicked. Uh, let's take a quick look at this art. I, I just, I just really like the design. I props on the design. It looks sick. But like I said, I feel like the first time reading her skills, it just feels a bit like a ascended mage savvy is the vibe i get i do like her skill set i will look into it more um like i said i've been on holidays haven't really gone through the stuff see if i can find anyone using her in some viable team comps and stuff like that and we'll do some testing in a future video but this one i just wanted to go through her skills give you guys my thoughts on her and stuff like that so here we go with the ultimate uh thali enters a state of frenzy which lasts for 12 seconds while in a frenzy thali's energy recovery is reduced by 40 percent her attack is increased by 30 percent and her haste is increased by 45 points and uh and her other abilities are strengthened that they, they describe the strengthened in those abilities once thali's frenzy ends she becomes exhausted for a short period now this appears to be two to three seconds um when i test it so it'll be over in a flash when you're uh sort of playing on four times speed but yeah i think two to three seconds is around the exhaustion period during which time she's unable to move or attack thali cannot trigger her ultimate ability again while she's already in a frenzy so obviously she's gonna wait to, for the frenzy to end to be able to trigger another frenzy then we just get it goes for 14 seconds and we do get the attack rating increased by 40 percent and haste by 60 points Moving on from that, Thali sacrifices 15% of her current health to deal 220% AoE damage plus 1.3 times the value of her sacrificed health as damage. While in a frenzy, damage dealt is increased to 280% and the damage range is increased. So you get that. What do we get? Attack rating increased by 300%. While in a frenzy, cool beans deals 1.5 times the value of the sacrificed health as damage. So... This is where I talk about Savvy's, you know, sacrificing the health, the ult is like an enrage. You get my vibes on Savvy's, but um, not too bad getting some nice AoE damage out of that one. She's basically going to always play around the frenzy. You just want to, you basically, what you want to have her is what I'm getting at. What I'm feeling is once she gets into her first frenzy, you want to just be cycling frenzy. Um, and basically get landing kills. I think the reason they reduce the energy recovery in this uh, is they think she'll be landing kills and getting the energy recovery back. Not 100% sure, but we'll have to see how it pans out when we do some more testing. Uh, flame Burst. Thali shoots three fireballs in quick succession, dealing 170% damage per fireball. While in a frenzy, fireballs will additionally knock back the enemy and stun them for three seconds. Cool beans. We get some damage increases on the skill ups. Then we have this one. At the beginning of battles, Thali casts a spell to sacrifice 35% of her current health and strengthen herself, allowing her to gain between 20 to 50% damage mitigation and 10 to 30 life leech uh, during, uh, according to the proportion of current health. The spell's power increases the lower Thali's health falls uh, and will be most powerful when her health falls below 40%. Now, while in Frenzy, the ability uh, will ignore the proportion current health um, and always be at its most powerful. So it'll always be at the 50 and 30 or with the skill ups, it's going to always be at... Uh, oh, no, that's correct. Uh, and then we go maximum. Yeah, it's going to be 60 and 40 at max skill ups. So when she's in frenzy, she's just basically got straight 60, 40 on those two, which isn't too bad. A 60% damage mitigation and a 40 life leech. Um, and that sort of rounds out her skill set. This one kind of reminds me a little bit of like a Mahira type thing as well, where Mahira sacrifices the HP, but also gets some mitigation. Um, but as you can see, it's like, this and this ability here, she'll get a symbol on top of her head at the start of the battle. Um, and that symbol is going to. 
basically signify that she's used this. So she doesn't keep reusing this. It's just a permanent thing that's there the whole time. And as she falls lower, she gets more of the buff. As she fall gets higher HP, she gets less of the buff. And that's pretty much the way it works. So over here on the signature item, damage dealt to the enemy that uh, to enemies that currently have a higher proportion of health uh, than Thalia is increased by 20%. Then we go to 30%. Um, Thalia is immune to control effects when her health falls below 50%, uh, which ain't too bad. And then 30, when in a frenzy, Thalia's damage increase uh, increases ignore enemies' health proportions. So you don't have to worry about the health proportion, you're just dealing a straight 30% extra damage. That's the way I understand it. But the thing I would love to see this 30 also do is grant her the level 20 effects when in a frenzy. So if she could be immune to CC while in the frenzy as well, I think that would be really, really sick. Um, but I don't think that's how it works. But I, I'd love it if like, if it just said the other effects of her signature item ignore health percentages or something like that. I think it would be sick if as soon as she went into frenzy, she's immune to CC so she can just rain that damage. I think that would be really nice, but uh, it doesn't seem to work that way. Now we jump into furniture. Uh, we have the three furniture. Each time Thali enters a frenzy, all non-summon allies have their attack ratings increased by 20% and their haste increased by 20 points for seven seconds. Um, now, this one's not too bad. Keeping in mind, her frenzy does last for 14 seconds and then she's stunned for two to three seconds after it. So you're probably getting that, like if you had enough generation where you're at full energy all the time, you'd be getting this seven second buff every 15, 16 ish seconds to your team. So just something to consider. I don't know whether that's, I don't think that's going to make her relevant in bosses and stuff, but maybe like her straight damage along with that might give her a place. We'll have to do a lot of testing. Um, then we have when Thali receives fatal damage while in a frenzy, she will maintain the minimum amount of health and postpone her own death. Once this effect has been triggered, Thali's health will no longer change. And as soon as her frenzy effects ends, uh, she immediately dies. So basically just saying she gets to wait till the end of the frenzy before she carks it. But uh, I think the three furniture is going to be the most important one. This one's going to be nice if you like maxing her, but like this one's going to be okay for the team side of things. So let's just jump into a quick one and have a quick look at her skill, see how she operates. And like I said, I'll get the trial, I'll do some more testing with her and come back with another video. So let's just go into this one quickly. So you can see she casts that, she gets that symbol on top of her head and that's gonna stay there for the rest of battle. So not too bad. Um, she's gonna do the three fireballs here in a sec. There you go, there's the three. Now this is the frenzy state. So what I wanna look at is the end of it. So there's those three fireballs knocking back and stunning. I wish those knocked back and stunned from the start. Okay, so it's about to end. You'll see end one, two, like two to three seconds, and then she's straight back into it. Now, the reason she's getting straight back into it so fast in this is because obviously we've got weak enemies that she's just killing and getting those 200 straight up. Um, so we'll jump over, and that's pretty much the, the, the way her kit works. She, she goes frenzy, she smacks things, um, and then... See, oh, that, those three fireball, uh, like, because I just love knockback effects, stems back from my love for Gwyneth. But uh, I'd love it if, like, they had the knockback effect at base and then added a stun on the frenzy. I don't know, just my vibes. <laughs> I would have knocked back straight away. But there you go, that is her skill. So let's jump out of that. And I'll do a video when she drops on global for the whole um, arena of trials as well. But I didn't want to throw that in this video as well. So let's go here. Let's bring uh, let's bring a sustainy type team. Let's just like focus on buffing her and see what we can do. So who, what's Nara doing? Well, let's just put uh, let's put chicken in there and group them up. I'm always a fan of chicken. She's got, she's got a little AOE ability. It must be a thing. <laughs> Uh Jesus. Okay. So let's let's check it. Let's check it. So I mean decent damage on that Warwick already? Like Warwick dead already? Keeping in mind the scaling on this isn't crazy. So we'll come down to like I, I don't Wait, let's just see let's see this frenzy. I, I wanna see where she ends up after this frenzy. Okay, watch this Nara. Can we like nuke this Nara? Man, the mitigation and healing though. The mitigation and healing. So she's exhausted. Enter the frenzy. Enter the frenzy. No, she's gonna die before the frenzy. 
Okay, let's check damage. Not crazy. I mean, the Taylene doing some there. Um, obviously, I was just focusing all on her there. Uh, let's drop chicken, put anarchy in, get some tankiness on that Nara. I should, I should probably put anarchy front and then put Taylene on the Nara, but hey, who cares? But I mean, we, we dropped that work pretty quick, I guess. I'm trying to look at the damage she's doing just to that uh, Sophia. Okay, here we go. Into the enraged state. Dropped her. I mean, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Let's take a look. Hmm. I don't know. I, I don't know, guys. I don't know. Because when we look at her kit... So, so let's go... Let's go have a look at her kit again. So... Obviously, it's all about the damage on that. Um, we got damage on this. Like, like, so, so, like, when I look at kits, I'm like, okay, this is, this is raw damage. This is a raw damage ability, no other things. This is a raw damage ability, nothing else. This is raw damage. Yes, it's got the knockback and stun, but that's only in Frenzy. Um, and then this ability is a self-mitigation and healing effect. So, so, so like my thing with her kit is it's not a very team based kit. Like she does have the furniture, which is giving allies a buff when she enters frenzy. Um, but besides that, it's a very selfish damage focused kit. Um, that really doesn't have anything else to offer. Like I said, we've got a single enemy. Well, I think it's normally single enemy because the balls normally target the same enemy. So we've got like once she ults, she's got a knockback with a stun on one of her abilities uh and she's also got a small buff for her teammates so her damage would have to be sky high like on these type of kits which focus primarily on damage i feel like you've got to have really sky high damage to be able to warrant yourself having a position in a team because you don't really bring anything else so that's where a lot more testing is going to be have to be done to see what her damage can scale like but when she's straight up getting you know, like the, obviously one small test, but getting the same damage as something like only a bit more than a Taylene or the same damage as a Sophia doesn't seem like enough. I'm going to hold out hope, uh, do some more testing, keep an eye out on discords and Reddit, see if anyone comes up with like a genius team for her. I don't know. Maybe she might be a thing in bosses because of that buff and her damage focused kit. Um, but we'll have to wait and see. But anyway, guys, that is Thali's sick design. Verdict's still out on whether she's going to be useful or not. But hey, I think, wait, if we go over here, we go to Merchants, and we go to Heroic Ship, and we go to Thali, and we scroll down. Oh, we can't see it. Oh, yes, we can. Over there. Mm, I was thinking maybe just get her for the animated frame. It's not the greatest animated frame, but it's still not bad. But anyway, guys, that is going to be for this one. Thanks for watching. I hope you have an awesome day, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Cheers.